Where are you? I'm here. I can't see you. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to POC with BVG, where we will be doing nothing relating to P, O, or C. <laughs> In fact, we will be sorting out some cabling situations. We have a lot of cables because we charge a lot of stuff. What? That was super confusing. We charge a lot of stuff on a daily basis, some once every two days or three days, such as the power bank. But we charge a lot of devices and that cable mess is terrible. So what we're going to do is try and put all of this into a drawer. So first of all, I found a multi-plug that I could unscrew. Don't know. That's why. There we go. Ha! You see the screws. So we can undo this one and as such I added I think about 10 meters of cabling onto that because we're going to use it to make an extra extension cord at a later juncture. Um, and then I'm going to attach that into said drawer, the top drawer of that. And for placement I've already taken a photocopy of the back of this so that I can stick it on here and draw accurately. Attached. Oh, totally not clean yet, but attached. And now I'm gonna get this cable through there. What do you wanna see? So I may have made a little bit of mess. <laughs> Tell me wants to come in and see what I did. I've cleaned most of it up. See, I already cleaned most of it up <laughs> by blowing it onto the floor. Yay! I thought there was going to be dust all over the bed, like a big pile of dust. Well, if you want to clean it. No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> We have a drawer that opens and has plugs in it. This is that the cable, if it is ever pulled, it doesn't pull on the actual plug, but rather just on the knot, so it shouldn't damage anything. And the one problem I had was when I was pulling out the drawer, it would open the one below it. And then once I fixed that, it would open the one underneath it. I have a hook over there. You can see. Haha, -ha, success. Okay, so I have a hook over there and a hook up at the top. There we go. So the cable from behind the drawer follows down that clip, that that hook, to that hook, and then out to hole in the back. Simple, it keeps the wire at the back and doesn't put strain on anything. Power light and one, two, three four and then five doesn't work but I feel like the plug still does work okay so now before I lose a girlfriend I'm going to clean this room up a little bit I have cleaned up and I still have a girlfriend as you can see luckily <laughs> <laughs> and she's got a giant teddy okay so I forgot what I was gonna oh yes 
Let me show you what the drawer looks like now. Everything it works but we still need to sort out how we're going to connect everything and I've got another idea which I'll only show you in the next video. I don't want to say what it is I just want to get it done and then you'll see it and you'll be like oh it's so cool. Okay so this is what we have to charge on almost a daily basis. As you can see the drawer is quite full I need to figure out a way to make this work but this in here is a lot nicer than having it all on the floor as we're going to get rid of all of that now hopefully. Then I had spare cable which is now underneath said girlfriend <laughs> um, and I made an extension cord it's about two and a half meters looks pretty legit um, and everyone can always do with extra extension cords so nothing went to waste. If I remember correctly if I remember correctly I said we're not shooting a video that I will show you something cool that I'm going to do before I organize it and it's done so everything's a mess I haven't organized anything in the drawers yet but okay strike the last terms so the drawer looks horrible but if you look in there I have attached LEDs which when you close the drawer I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna try and show you some light. Can you see that sliver of light there? When you close the drawer, they turn off. And you open it, and they turn on, so you can see what is happening at night in a nice, calm, and cool looking light. Okay, let's drag the lights. <laughs> so can you imagine? I don't even know what I was gonna say, but I'm so excited that it actually works. Okay, go with me on this. The back of the cabinet, in the back of the drawer there is a little bit of a gap but let's just imagine when they touched if the LEDs turned on and when they disconnected the lights turned off everything would have been simple unfortunately I need it the other way around when they touch it needs to turn off and when they move apart it needs to disconnect I also wanted the lights to be on the drawer itself and not on any part of the cabinet so I can take the drawer out still if I need to for any reason so what I did I made a battery pack over here which has got one of the, the sides is connected to the LEDs, the other side is connected to the metal plate. The other side of the LEDs is connected to this metal plate, which is a little bit sprung, and so when this is touched back just a little bit, it turns off the LEDs. Can you see that? And so now all that's left to do is get a spacer at the back that's perfectly placed. I hope that you enjoy this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, view, your boss. <coughs> this is Zoe. Hello. <laughs> Zoe says subscribe. <laughs>